Today, I will show you five different tricks on your Android device and this will apply on Apple as well or a MacBook because this is super useful and I'm going to give you one very good example that I encountered with and this might apply you as well too. All right, so let's get started. So for example, for me, I go to Asia a lot and I have a Canadian SIM card, but I don't want to use the Canadian SIM card in Asia because there's a lot of roaming charges. But however, if I take out my SIM card with this phone out and put the Asian SIM card in, then I will miss all the messages, all right? Some people message me and I will miss all the messages. Does it make sense? So I want to put into one of the phone, let's just say this phone, and leave the SIM card inside and whatever the message it will show up right here i just leave this phone on right put on the charger and then that's it but however when i'm in asia how do i read this message on this now this is a very good way i'm going to show it to you is download this app called push bullet and this push bullet here you just need to you know get in download from the play stores and you will end up something like this so you have to accept everything okay so now you're gonna end up something like this, okay? And now, in, in at the bottom here, you can see pushing, you can see mirroring, SMS, channels, account. We are going to go to SMS. And when we go to SMS, this is what you're gonna see. At the bottom here, you can say start testing. And at the top right there, you can see this, there is two device, basically is either this device or this device. And these are the model number for this device and that device, right? And now let's just say, this is the phone that I have the SIM card with. And I'm gonna leave it at home because I don't get, I don't wanna get roaming charges. Let's just say I install another push bullet into this phone. Now I just need to go into the device of this one, which is this one right here. And this is all the message whatever the, this, this device is. And I can reply, I can send, whatever. So I'm gonna show you to you right now, this phone here, the message, it looks like exactly the same, okay? Exactly the same, okay? And now, if you want to reply, let's just say I'm gonna choose whatever. I'm gonna choose something. I'm gonna reply on here. You can see it's already sent now. And you can see my original text is already sent as well too. You can see that, right? So whatever I do on here, I can just press, I can reply on this push bullet. This is push bullet and it will send for me right away. You can see that, okay? So basically you just need to do is, that's all you have to do. Download push bullet, download push bullet, Logging into the same account, which is this one right here, logging into the same account, and then that's it. And then you can do it on your computer, go to pushbullet.com, you can do the same thing. You can go to the, your your Mac, uh, your iOS, and then download Pushbullet, they have Pushbullet on here as well too. You can do texting for the Android device as well too. You can do whatever you want. This is feature number one. Feature number two. Let's just say I have notifications like this, a group chat, but it's been going on for so long. Every single minute they have a new message. You can see that it's very, very annoying. Now the fastest way to mute this notification is just hold this. And then you see the alarm with the cross on, press that, turn off. And now you can see the notification would not dis uh, would not appear anymore because I just turned it off. So if anything that you think is quite annoying and it's keep popping up, you can actually do it this way. But however, if the telegram inside whatever is happening, you cannot see anything because you just milk the whole thing. Did you know each app you can actually customize notification? So I'm gonna show you. So let's just say we're gonna go into this message right here. And now you're gonna hold this. And then you can see there's like this button right there. We're gonna press that. And now we're gonna to go to notification right there. Did you know you can actually customize this? 
So let's just say if your message, okay, whatever the message you have, okay, SMS, if you do not want the notifications appear on the lock screen, you can just check it off. So you don't, you won't have anything on the lock screen with the message notifications. If you want this, but you don't want the batch number, you, you know the number at the top, you can just take it off too. Or if you want this, or you don't want that, okay, the pop-up at the top, then shut it off. So you can customize anything you want. So if you do not want anything like this, you can just sh shut up everything and then that's it. Pretty cool, huh? So you can actually customize whatever the app you don't want to be, whatever it is, just turn whatever you don't want and then that's it. You have your own freedom. So before I actually teach you the next trick is, I'm gonna teach you how to set up OK Google. If I say OK Google, everything turns on right here. So I'm gonna shut this everything off and I'm gonna show you how to set this up first. So you want to go into a certain bar. If you do not have the certain bar, we're talking about the widget. We're gonna to go to Google. We are going to go to find this bar right here. We're gonna go into here. And now we're gonna use this bar to set up your OK Google. So we're gonna go here. You go to the right here on the top. And then you're gonna to go to setting. And then you're gonna go right here, oh, Google Assistant. And then you're gonna to go to the voice match. And then you're gonna to go to say, hey Google. So basically this thing here, it will actually help you to whatever you want to speak to Google, just say that, okay? They will ask you to say certain thing, make sure you say everything and then that's it. Now, when you have OK Google, let's just say if you have a YouTube, chat, a YouTube video that you're watching, you don't have to watch the whole thing. All you have to do is either you copy the link and say, OK Google, and then paste the thing send and then you can ask him to summarize the video for you even this is in Chinese they can translate into English as well too so you can see this they translate everything for you with a timeline with a timeline see that so you can actually read over this without even watching this pretty cool huh so make sure you know how to set up the Google thing and then always say OK Google. And then once you say OK Google, you can paste the link or sometimes you don't have to paste, they will recognize the YouTube channel already, the video, and then they can summarize everything for you. So I'm gonna show you something super, super cool. Let's just like I type something. I'm gonna hold the space bar, go back in the middle, somewhere here. And now I want to delete the word at the front, not the back, by the front and then you're going to hold the capitalize and press delete and you can see it delete the word at the back not the front cool huh so let's just say i'm going to go back like this again and then i'm going to press delete and then i can do still do my swipe right something like that and then you can now delete this you can delete i don't know whatever you want <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Do you know this trick? I hope this video helps you. Please subscribe my channel and share this video and have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace out.